trying to get on some panfish. We're trying to get crappies and bluegills. We're going to try to do a catch and cook for you guys. And got it's going to be quite cool because we got Jay Siemens catch and cook here. Big fish. Oh, that's a nice pike, Amanda. We got this nice little pike here. We're gonna go for that jellyfish bite as well. Awesome fish, great way to start the year. What's going on, folks? TCG back at it again with another video. Today we are at Amelia's cottage and we're spending the night here with Dylan and Amelia and we're trying to get on some panfish. We're trying to get crappies and bluegills. We're gonna try to do a catch and cook for you guys. And it's going to be quite cool because we got Jay Siemens catch and cook here. Got the original crunchy. I think that's the only flavor they got right now. Yeah, we purchased some of those off his website. And we're going to try to do a panfish catch and cook and put them in this. So we're going to get out on the ice, try to catch some fish, and then do a catch and cook. So let's get to it. Hey, what's going on, folks? TCG back out again with another video today. I'm stealing Ryan's cookies, and that's all it is. And nobody wants to see D-Suck no more, so you know D-Suck out of here. Alrighty, we pulled up to the ice and we're just setting up in about uh, 29, 30 feet of water and we're gonna try to catch some panfish really quick. The hut is actually set up in like a walleye pike spot. It's in 14 feet of water. So we're gonna move to there towards prime time. But for now, we're gonna try to get some panfish. Uh, hopefully within the next hour, catch five to 10 fish so we can do a cook up later. But uh, let's get the fishing and hopefully we catch some panfish. All right, so I'm gonna start with this little Frostbite dinner bell. Alrighty, so I just picked up from Manatic Bait Shop. I got some tiny wax worms here. I've actually never fished with these before, or I have and I just don't remember, but they are panfish candy from what I see online. So hopefully they do the trick. And I'm just gonna be putting it on this little Frostbite dinner bell. Yeah. And hopefully this will be, we'll get it done for these panfish. Just a little green and pink frostbite dinner bell, micro size with wax worm. All right, Dylan with the first blue wow, gill. Wow, this is my biggest catch of the year, bro. Definitely not an eater though. Wow, you sure that's not an eater, man? I thought this could feed a family of four. Uh, your biggest catch of the year. I mean, we might get oh two. God. We might get one decent fillet. Yeah, I mean. Throw him back. Look, he has nice eyes. Back. Look how nice his eyes are, though. Like, give him credits, yo. Look, he's he should be on Cover Girl. He's a beauty. He's a Give beauty. her. Good job, D. You know what I caught her oh, on? Oh, Got a wax worm by. Nice. She got it. Is it on? Yeah. Oh, that's a crappie. That's got to be a crappie. Look at Ryan. He's so excited. That's got to be a crappie, and it's going to be an eater too. Size crappie, yeah. Who Come on. Yes, big bluegill. <laughs> that's what we are eating, my friend. What the? That is an eater. <laughs> that right there is what we came for. Nice eater bluegill.
That feels decent. I don't know. It doesn't feel like super good, but it feels all right. Oh, that's an eater. That's an eater. We'll eat that. Bluegill on the frostbite dinner bell waxworm. Decent fish, we're definitely gonna eat this fish. All right, so we got the second fish for our catch and cook. I got a bunch of marks down there, all decent marks. So I bet you I'm on a school of decent fish. They're on a school over there as well, but I felt like moving around because those fish didn't seem to be biting super aggressive. Um, so I figured we'd move and try to find, or I'd try to find some more aggressive fish. And it's definitely paying off because there's another one. And that's a big one. That's a big one. That, that feels twice as big. What's it gonna be? Oh yeah, that's another eater. That's another eater. That's bigger than the last. I still got marks down there too. So that makes three fish for our little catch and cook here. So the frostbite dinner bell is showing to be productive. It's uh, tipped with wax worms, so it's got a little bit of flavor to it. But micro frostbite dinner bell is probably one of my go-to lures this year. Well, definitely one of my go-to lures this year. I've caught so many fish on it. It's just an overall awesome bait. And then tipped with wax worm, it's just slaying these pan fish. So the goal is to get a couple more at least five we're hoping for to eat. And then we're gonna move to the hut, try to get some walleyes. I'm marking another fish. He's coming up right now. Let's see if I get him. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. He hit it. There's one. That's another good one. That's another eater. That's another eater. That's gonna be fish number four. Woo -hoo -hoo! Another begging. <laughs> That's what you gotta do for panties, man. You gotta move and try to find the more active fish. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's okay. I'm watching the line. That's a good one. That's another eater for show. Do we got another eater, guys? Oh, yeah. We're going to eat this guy. He's just big enough to go in my belly. Got one. There we go. That's another eater, I think. What's that gonna be? Oh yeah. Is he? How's he feel? Don't tell me you're bringing the tiny fish over here. You better not be. That's bigger. Oh, let's go! First crappy, son! Yeah. <laughs> let's go, <laughs> dude. It's your boy. <laughs> First crappy. Finally, I didn't, even, I didn't even feel a bite. Dude, that's what we needed to see. That's what I need to see. That's what I need to hear. That's what I need to feel. That's an eater, too. We're going to eat that one. Oh, that's, that's an eater. Okay, watch the line.
Does Dylan got another crappy son? What do you got? I don't know. What do you think it is, bud? It's looking like it's fighting good. I'm not. Big bluegill, son. Big That's a blue. big in, bud. Look at that. How's it feel? Kiss it. <laughs> Alrighty, the bite's been pretty good. We got a bunch of panfish, we got a bunch of big bluegills and one crappie, and that's gonna be uh, part of what we eat tonight. But we're gonna move to the hut now, just towards the end of light here, and try to get on some walleye. So there's a few in this lake, uh, not a whole lot, because people keep them all, but we're gonna try to get a couple. So let's get to the hut, try to catch some bigger fish, and then we're gonna go cook up some freaking panfish with Jay Siemens and Josh McFad's Catch and Cook. This is gonna be awesome, let's go. Alrighty folks, we are back at the cabin and we got some fish to clean. We got nine bluegills, one crappy, and then we're putting them in the catch and cook fish batter. I told you guys about this stuff. Jay Siemens, Josh McFads, making this batter and we're gonna try it out for you guys in this video. So let's get these fish cleaned up and get them in some grease and have some food. Boss pieces. All right, so we got the oil heating up. We like to use peanut oil for our fish. I've been told that peanut oil doesn't suck up as much of the juices and you'll end up with crispier fish or whatever you're cooking. So peanut oil is our go-to and we have noticed that it generally comes out pretty crispy. So it's in the pan and that's heating up. And then in this pan here in the pot, we got scallops or not scallops, we got mussels. So we're gonna have fish and mussels and the fish is in the catch and cook, so this should be good. Oh yeah. God, that looks freaking delicious. Alrighty, we got the catch and cook fish here. It smells really good. We're gonna try this. Looks good, smells good. Wow. That is a thousand times better than fish crisp for sure. Now, we didn't double coat it. If you wanna summon the crunch, it says on the package supposed to double coat it we did not do that we did that on a couple i don't think we did on this one but it's pretty freaking crunchy for one coating of the fish batter well i'll tell you this fish is pretty freaking good we're definitely going to be purchasing more of this catch and cook stuff but we're just going to continue eating tonight and get to bed hopefully catch some more fish tomorrow so we'll see you in the morning
Is that your PB pipe? Oh, that's definitely her PB pipe. Okay, we're gonna get a good picture of that fish. What? Oh my God. It's a huge mark. He's all over my tip up. Oh yeah, he ate it. 